Hi, this is Chris from Nintendo Gamer, and I'm going to be talking you through Freaky Forms Deluxe, which is out on Saturday. Um, it's just a general tour of how the game works, and uh, just for those who are unfamiliar with the um, eShop version, which was released a couple of months ago. Well, more than a couple, but who's counting? Certainly not me. Okay, this is how you create your own form. There's different body parts, and you know, I'm picking a head. Um, and yeah, you can resize it, stretch it, flip it, do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm going to try and remake a slime here from Dragon Quest just to show you how um, easy it is to make. So I'm choosing different body parts here, choosing eyes, and each part will animate um, according, um, accordingly. The, the game chooses, the game can tell which part you're choosing and, and animate it to work like that. So when it talks, the mouth moves and it blinks, the eyes move and everything. So yeah, so there's my slime. Very accurate. Um, you can also change his height and put legs on him, so I'm going to put tiny legs on. I mean, obviously it's not very realistic having a slime of legs, but um, in the long run it will be a lot more helpful to have legs, even if they're little skinny, dinky legs that tuck under here. I'll just copy that, stick it there. There we go. Now this is the annoying thing, is even if you've played the eShop version before, um, you'll still have to do all the tutorials that were previously in the eShop version. Um, so it's um, teaching me how to change the colours and how to balance it and everything. Um, this will be quite annoying if you've spent, if you've put like 20 hours into the eShop one to basically have to start from scratch again. I mean you can import your previous formies from the eShop one using an SD card but you still need to go through the tutorials. Okay so once you made your formie you give him a name, Slime, I'm the most original man in the world and give him a phrase. So. Hmm. Probably Bosch. Let's make him say Bosch. And then pick his voice. Mm, I quite like the old one. I think it has to be that. It's probably the least slime voice, but that makes it the best. Okay. Okay, now new to this one is you can have special actions for your formies, so um, you, you unlock these in the dungeon mode, so you can have like, flies buzzing around it for no reason, or fire f around it for no reason, or flowers or bats. Um, these are all um, pretty pointless, from, from certainly from the ones I've seen so far, they just look pretty cool. So if you were to make a vampire or something, then you would have bats flying around it, so put a bat around the slime, just just for yucks, just for giggles. Now you make a move by holding your stylus down on the bottom screen and you can drag down on this uh, this big blue dot and ping him around to make him jump. And the whole point of the game is just to collect coins, uh, to kind of explore different things, help people out, um, unlock new body parts and for the other formies you want to create and basically just make the kind of the world you explore bigger and unlock new items. So, yeah, it's just pretty daft, but it's pretty fun. You can eat these um, tomatoes and smash these blocks with coins, and the coins can then be used to buy new parts. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's too he's too small to reach that. If I had given him longer legs, we'd be able to reach that fruit. So instead, I'm going to have to knock this block in and then jump up. So let's go. Cool. I mean, the different. Depending on how you make your formula, they'll, they'll, they'll progress through the level differently. Oh, what's the drama here? What am I going to get? Oh, hello. Do it. This is one of the tasks you get. If you meet formies, they, they'll give you challenges and tasks to do, and if you do that, then you'll unlock the ability to um, use their parts when creating a character. It is a pretty easy one because I have to drop this bird off a flag which is just down the road. Now that bonus chance comes up randomly when you get a coin and gives you different abilities. This time I've been given a hand which I can place on the top screen and basically drag down things so that fruit that's up there um, once I've picked an accessory to unlock. That fruit I can now grab with a hand and just knock it down. See I'm grabbing it and throw it which is quite handy. Um, it means that just for the sake of quickness I can grab fruit off the top of the... See, you can't reach that corn. Eat this one. 
We can't reach that corn, but I can grab it now and give it to him. Nice. Hmm. So yeah, that's basically how it works. I mean, like I was saying before, the, the, the way you create your formula affects how they progress through the level. So if you give them long legs, they can grab fruit easier. If you give them wings, they can fly around. If you give them fins, they can swim for longer without needing to pick up air bubbles. Which isn't so much a big deal here, but as you progress through the game and unlock larger areas, then um, it becomes important. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is the map of just like the small, the second smallest area in the game, and so that's pr this is still pretty early on. I mean, the more you play it, the more it unlocks, so that should give you an idea of how big it gets. So yeah, I'm going to quit out and just quickly load up someone more suited to the dungeon level, and I'll show you how a dungeon works. Um, these eggs, when you collect them in the game, they give you bonus coins. Simple. These are the formies I've made so far. We've also made another one who I'm going to pick for this next one. Okay, this is Nerdlinger. He has fire ability, which is fairly awesome. See, he's excited. I'm excited. So should you be. So I'm going to head to a dungeon. There's one. Um, and show you how these work. Basically, this is the dungeons are the big addition to the game that the shop version didn't have. Um, and when you. The dungeons are how you unlock these special abilities, like fire effect that you see um, on Nerdlinger here. So I'll just get to the dungeon and show you how it works. Basically, you'll encounter different enemies in the dungeon. And when you do, it takes a uh, kind of turn based battle takes place. We don't have any control over the battle, it's just all done automatically. It's pretty simple. But again, the way you create the formy has an impact on how well they do in the dungeon. Um, as you'll see in a sec. Let's jump in here. Get in. That was me. Alright, so I've got to rescue King Roy, so run through the dungeon, do 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 do. Smash my way down. Keep going, try and find an enemy and show you how it works. Oh, there's one. What the hell is that? Let's fight it. So yeah, it's, it's all automatic turn-based and everything, so bash bash. Now because my guys get two arms, there's a chance that he'll do two attacks. Um, if the formula you build only has one arm, he'll do one attack. Sometimes you'll fight something with like four legs, and it'll do four attacks in a row. So the way, the amount of limbs you give the formula um, kind of alters how well it attacks. But obviously, also has an effect on your defense and everything. So, like when I fight this giraffe, this giraffe's got four legs, so it'll probably put a few attacks in. Oh, here we go. See, three hits. I killed it anyway because I am ruthless. So yeah, that's uh, Freaky Forms Deluxe. It's, uh, it's it's a good improvement over this eShop one. I, I wouldn't go rushing out to buy it if you already played eShop one to death. Um, because it's not a huge difference, but if you've certainly never played it before, this is the one to go for. Um, yeah, it's out on Saturday, check the site for the full review.